Greetings, dear viewers, and welcome to another captivating episode of Knowledge Conk Channel. Today, we embark on a journey into the annals of medicinal science to unravel the truth of nymphomania, the hypersexuality disorder. This is a story of controversial psychological disorder became an social evil in society. Hypersexuality is a term used for a presumed mental disorder causing people to engage in or think about sex to a point of distress or impairment. Nymphomania and satyriasis were terms previously used for the condition in women and men, respectively. Ever pondered on the intricacies of nymphomania? It's a term you've likely encountered, but how much do you truly know about it? Today, we dive deep into this complex topic, unraveling its layers, causes, symptoms, and treatments. Nymphomania, often shrouded in misconceptions and stereotypes, is actually a term from the past. It was once used to describe a condition that was believed to cause an insatiable or abnormally intense sexual desire in women. Today, however, the medical and psychiatric communities no longer use this term. Instead, it's been replaced with more precise and less gender-specific terms like hypersexuality or compulsive sexual behavior. This shift is significant, not only because it's more inclusive, but because it reflects a more comprehensive understanding of the condition. It's not about being oversexed, but about a struggle with controlling sexual urges that may interfere with one's quality of life. Now what causes this condition? It's a complex interplay of biological, psychological and social factors. There's no one-size-fits-all answer but research suggests it can be linked to an imbalance in the brain chemicals that regulate sexual desire. Psychological factors may also play a role such as a history of sexual abuse or other traumatic experiences. Additionally, societal and cultural influences can contribute to how one perceives and responds to their sexual desires. So how can one recognize this condition? Symptoms can vary widely, but they often involve excessive preoccupation with sexual fantasies, urges or behaviors that cause distress or negatively affect health, personal relationships, or other parts of life. It's important to note that having a high sex drive does not necessarily mean one has this condition. It becomes a concern when it leads to distress or dysfunction. And what about treatment? Therapeutic interventions can be highly effective. Cognitive behavioral therapy, for instance, can help individuals learn to manage sexual urges and reduce unwanted behaviors. Medications can also be used, particularly when there's an underlying mental health condition. Support groups can provide a safe space for individuals to share experiences and learn coping strategies. In conclusion, nymphomania, or more aptly, hypersexuality, is a complex condition rooted in a mix of biological, psychological, and social factors. It's characterized by an inability to control intense sexual urges that can interfere with daily life. Treatment commonly involves therapy, medication, and support groups. So, we've journeyed through the complexities of this condition, breaking down the stereotypes and misconceptions. Remember, understanding is the first step towards empathy and support. As we continue to learn and grow, let's strive to foster an environment of acceptance and understanding for all. And there you have it, a comprehensive look into the world of nymphomania, its causes, symptoms and treatments. It's a topic that's often misunderstood but, hopefully, we've shed some light on it today. Until next time stay curious, stay informed. Causes Physiological and Hormonal Impact Thank you for joining us today on Knowledge Conk Channel. Stay tuned for more enlightening journeys into the realms of history and knowledge. Until next time, may the pursuit of wisdom guide your path.